Despite the USA offering a large sum to a German firm for access to coronavirus research and claims by Israel that it is on the brink of discovering a vaccine to ward off the deadly virus, realistically, scientists, researchers say that it will take at least a year to make the vaccine or any medicine functional. Amidst this atmosphere of gloom and doom, people have placed their last hope on rising temperature to prevent any further spread. Even US President Donald Trump claimed that April sunshine could chase away the scourge notwithstanding the fact that US is supposed to begin clinical trial of COVID-19 vaccine. The virus, they're working hard. Looks like by April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. But does his claim hold any merit or it's just a misplaced hope? We find out. If the World Health Organization is to be believed, it is still early. On March 5th, the WHO said there's no reason to believe temperature will play a role in containing the outbreak, but added that the subject was worth investigating. We don't know much about uh, what this virus will do over the course of a season. Um, and so we've had some questions previously about what this virus will do in different climates and different temperatures. Um, we have no reason to believe that this virus would behave differently in different temperatures, which is why we want aggressive action in all countries to make sure that we prevent onward transmission. But to, to look at seasonality, you need to look at patterns over time. Um, and we do need some of that time to be able to see what, what happens. But when you look at the map of the infected cases, a clear pattern arises. The three major hotspots of coronavirus are Wuhan in China, Milan in Italy and Seattle in US. All the three places share similarly mild humidity and temperatures ranging from about 5 to 11 degrees Celsius in winters. In hotter, more humid places like Bangkok, the virus has mainly been seen in people who brought it in from outside and has not spread quickly through the community thus implying that there may be some correlation between the climate and the speed with which the disease is spreading. However, researchers have sounded a note of caution on such deductions. FLU is seasonal, but what about coronavirus? In temperate regions, flu is largely a winter phenomenon, whereas in tropical and subtropical areas, it tends to occur during the rainy season. Regarding correlation between temperature and the virus, the primary theory is that summer lifts people's melatonin and vitamin D levels, which can boost the immune systems and that viruses lose their punch in warmer weather because their fat-laden membrane dissipates. But unlike influenza, which is seasonal, WHO has warned that COVID-19 is unlikely any other virus. What can we learn from SARS outbreak? The 2002-2003 SARS epidemic did indeed ease with the onset summer, but that may have had little to do with the weather. In fact, it was killed by extremely intense public health interventions in mainland Chinese cities and in Hong Kong, Vietnam, Thailand, Canada, including self-isolation and quarantine. While dealing with coronavirus, China took a leaf out of its experience of dealing with SARS outbreak. It had put the entire region of Wuhan under a stringent lockdown. Hardly anyone was visible in the streets, with schools, colleges, offices, malls, multiplexes all closed. How long before we get an antidote to COVID-19? Since the late January 2020, when Chinese scientists released the fully sequenced genome of coronavirus, US had made the first breakthrough. A clinical trial evaluating a vaccine designed to protect against a new coronavirus will begin on March 16, according to a government official. The National Institutes of Health is funding the trial, which is taking place at the case of permanent Washington Health Research Institute in Seattle. But it will still take at least a year or a year and a half before it could be distributed among the people. The speed and the pressure to develop a cure for the pandemic has caused concern among the scientific community. Many believe that in the race to find a cure, the drug companies can skip animal trials. This could lead to a condition called immune enhancement in which a person ends up having even more dangerous disease. How can you ward off coronavirus? In absence of a proper antidote, self-quarantine and proper tests are the only way to keep a check on the virus from spreading. Already, schools, colleges, cinema halls have been shut down in states impacted by the virus. Office goers have been asked to work from home as far as possible. Social distancing and a self-imposed ban on gatherings are the best practices that has been recommended in countries where the number of cases have crossed a certain threshold and is showing no sign of abatement. Staying at least six feet away from other people lessens chances of catching COVID-19. 
The easing of flu outbreaks with summers doesn't mean the virus dies out in warmer temperatures. It just doesn't transmit as easily. For now, the human civilization, in all essence, is living on a prayer.